And now it's time for... Our scores of the week. And I love this now. We run the thread on Sundays over on the Danny App Facebook group. And that way, everybody gets a chance to be picked to be on the show um, because you have a full day to get those scores in. And basically, it's just the best item that you've sold this week because we all sell different stuff, and that helps us be a little more inspired when we're out there looking for stuff. It's really, really, really a fun thing to watch all those scores coming in. All right, we have, ooh, we have an overnight quick flip. Now, Lisa... Say hi to Lisa in my chat room there. Lisa is the producer, and she is my right hand, arm, elbow, shoulder, neck <laughs> of getting this show all prepared. Thank you, Lisa. You're awesome. Um, and she gathers up and picks those scores because uh, she loves doing it, number one, and she's better at it than I am. So uh, she gives me these fun little notes. And so if you see me reading and kind of giggling sometimes, it's because she just cracks me up. So here we go. Here's our overnight quick flip. This is from Angie Galvez. And I apologize ahead if I am messing up names, you guys. She bought this retro diner style table jukebox at Goodwill for 10 bucks. And let's go take a look at it. And I'm going to look the same time you are over here. Let me go put the number in and then I'll pull it up. 19108608. 7828. I'm going to pull that up and I'm going to put it on the screen. There we go. Doo -doo. Oh, how cute is this? All right, there we go. All right, so after negotiating for a best offer, it sold the next day for $350, you guys. $350 the next day. What a great quick flip. And you know, going back to my ultimate listing challenge, you know, one of the things we talk about is if you've got things laying around that you haven't gotten listed, had Angie gone and bought this and then waited and not listed it and waited and sat around, that'd be like a cool $340 profit that wouldn't have gotten realized that quickly. So just keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Yeah, it's a very, very cool purchase. All right. So how about our selling stuff around the house score from Tamara Burning? Oh, i got to ask you guys real quick, too. How's the sound tonight? This is better, huh? I was messing around with the sound and all the stuff before the show, and I finally heard what you guys were hearing the last couple of weeks. Ouch. I am so sorry. Um, I'm getting that. i got a new microphone on its way. I don't have it yet, but... It, next week we should have a lot better stuff going, but yeah, ah, good. That was a really awful noise, wasn't it? And wow, I'm so grateful to you guys for sticking around despite that. Okay, what's our next? What's our next score here? So we've got Tamra Burning's score. Let me pull it up here. It's three zero one one zero five four nine. 8393. Just pull up the original listing here. So Tamara, for those that don't know, is uh, she's got this cute little mascot called Sassy Duck, and she's really been fine-tuning her niche, so she's she's just kind of getting rid of all the stuff that does not fit into her niche. And here is uh Here's a, an item. She's been working on her daughter's room as well, and she recently put several lots of these plastic canvas pattern books at auction. And here's one of those lots, 10 pattern books. Started it at $9.99, you guys, $9.99, and got a bidding war and ended up with 28 bids, and this lot sold for $177.50. Holy smokes. I have to ask Tamara, did you have any idea these were worth that much, or were you just expecting to get opening bid? <laughs> this is a great example of you guys. Sometimes it is much better use of your time to lot things up, run them on an auction starting low, and see where they fly. 
Um, this That's a great job, Tamara. I bet you were really surprised at that one. No, she says she had no idea they were worth that much. Yeah, I'm so happy. So happy. All right. Oh, we've got a day with Danny score. So a day with Danny, for those that don't know, are those shopping days where I take a group of people out on a shopping trip and uh, we go find cool stuff. And, and I don't put anything in my cart. What I do is help you fill your carts and hopefully narrow down into your niche and, and really focus on your business all day long. So I recently went up in the San Jose area and uh, Serena Lee purchased this. It's a Boma Canada Inuit Spirit Trinket Box. Um, very cool little thing and, I, and this looks like it's it's fairly small. Um, I, I don't I don't remember it. <laughs> Come to think of it, I don't remember seeing this one, Serena. Um, doesn't mean that I didn't because we saw hundreds of things, but it's not ringing a bell. You, you had like some super cool stuff that day. Uh, so this was $5.50 at Salvation Army, and she listed it at a fixed price of $64.99 with free shipping, best offer, and she accepted a best offer of $50, $50 for her $5 purchase. So very, very nice profit, very quick. Um, she was a lot of fun to shop with you guys. Serena, I hope I get to come shopping with you again because you were an absolute blast and joy to shop with. And she came home with lots of really cool goodies. So go look at her current items too because she has got a lot of stuff that she got that day that she's gotten it listed. I'm very proud of her. She's gotten that stuff all listed and um, doing really good. Way to go. All right, how about an art glass score? This is from Lizzie Clift. And Lizzie, this is item number 26141137985. We pull that up. Oh, this looks quite pretty. Kim Newcomb. All that gobbledygook. What do you guys think of all this gobbledygook eBay's given now? It's good if you're niched. It's good if you're niched. Uh, let me use this, use this real quick as an example. So this is an art glass piece. She's interested in art glass. Um, buyers on this piece. And after it's all said and done, anybody who found this and went over, now yeah, they're going to get suggestions from eBay, but right beneath that, above the fold, meaning still on that page without scrolling down, you can see all the other things that Lizzie has listed that are similar. And this is where being niched can really pay off, you guys. Just wanted to throw that out there. So this is a signed Kim Newcomb Orene metallic art glass vase from 1977. Let me see if I can find a back story on this. Oh yeah. Purchased at a local thrift store for $4.99 and she noticed the artist's signature and the quality and she priced it high and was willing to wait on the right buyer to come along and it sold for full asking price of $186.99. Very cool. She bought it about six months ago. Um, but flipped it very quickly because it, she didn't list it right when she bought it. There's another one of those. Um, so, yeah, you guys, get that stuff listed. And I'm just kind of looking to show you what that signature looks like on some of these pieces. Right there. These get missed by those pricing at the thrift stores all the time. You see a good quality piece with nice eye appeal. You need to check it out because... There can be these little hidden gems of a signature, and signatures are usually solid gold on art glass. So very nice job, Lizzie. All right, we have a Selling Stuff in the Garage score. This comes from Viva Guthrie, and it is item number 15121948550. Do, 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 do. License plates. Now this is something, you guys, that I just don't pick up. They're not in my niche. Oh, and let me just say, and Viva, I hope you're, I hope you're watching this. So, license plates. So here are the. Here's more uh, chances to get. Blah blah blah. And under here, more from the same seller. Now, if she was selling more license plates, they would show up right here and be appealing to the people that had clicked over. But I'm pretty sure that. 
anybody who was interested in those license plates probably isn't digging on mugs. So you got to be careful with that selling a little bit of everything. Okay, and then we come down here. Let's look at these license plates. 1929 license plate set, Iowa green. And looks like they brought full price. They've been sitting around her garage forever. Money just sitting in the garage, just waiting to be listed. And they sold for full asking price, $89.95. And I, I, Viva, I don't know if you're with us tonight, but I'm wondering if they came off like a vehicle you own or something. How cool would that be? Um, I'd like to have that vehicle. <laughs> All right. So good job. That's a good profit. And just think how much sooner you would have had that. Just hurry up and get this stuff listed, you guys. I'm telling you, you're leaving, leaving dollars, leaving dollars. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. Um, and I'm going to kind of go on from here. I want to get through these as quickly as possible because, uh, like I said, we have a lot to get through and short time to do it. Let me get my camera back. Oh, there we go. Got my camera back on. You know, it, I got to tell you, I'm still getting used to this big delay because I look over here and I kind of see what you guys are seeing and, it, and I'm way past that already. So it's a little odd. So I'm not ignoring you guys in the chat room. It's just that I'm not seeing it when I'm saying it and it's a little hard to go back. <laughs> oh, your dad had a collection of the plates. That's very cool. Do you have any more? Remember, guys, list like stuff together, like stuff together. All right, and we run the scores thread every Sunday, so get in on that and get inspired and send in your really good scores, and they could show up on the uh, show. And the cool thing is Cassini loves when people go over and look at your listings and all of that. You get more Cassini love that way, and your items are more likely to come up. Who let them cows out? Moo! Moo!